we are going to make something very special with just these four ingredients. This is whole wheat flour that is half cup. This is sugar that is 1 by 3 cup. This is desi ghee that is 1 by 3 cup. So uh, you can see the size of the bowls are same but you can see the quantity of the whole wheat flour and uh, ghee and sugar. So hi guys we are going to make krapashad today. So here are the proportion of the ingredients. We have taken half cup or 75 grams of whole wheat flour and this is 1 by 3 cup sugar and 1 by 3 cup ghee and the water is half cup flour into 3 that is 1 and half cup. So we know that uh, flour, sugar and ghee should all be in same ratio. Here the ratio means by weight not by volume. If we increase the quantity of the sugar and the ghee as it is flour in the bowl, what will happen? Our Krapashad will become runny. There will be so much of ghee in this. So first heat a pan, add desi ghee to this and then the flour. Mix this very well and start roasting it and the flame should be minimum. At the same time, let's melt sugar in one and a half cup water. We just have to mix or melt the sugar and just a boil, just a single boil is enough for the water and keep it aside and ready with you. Now you can see that the texture has become foamy. It has air bubbles now. The flour has started roasting and it has air bubbles. Now here the only tip or the only trick for roasting the flour is that it should be at minimum flame and you have to stir it continuously. Now you can see the changes. Now the air bubbles are disappeared or almost reduced and the color has changed a bit. Have a close look. You can see there are lesser amount of air bubbles now. Now stir it continuously. Now this is almost ready. This is almost roasted. You just have to keep an eye and stir it continuously. This should not burn otherwise the taste will be spoiled. Now it is ready. Let us add the sugar syrup to this. Be careful uh, while you add sugar syrup because it is hot. and stir it add all the sugar syrup to this now guys if the flour is roasted very well then there is no chance of lump formation you just have to stir it continuously after adding the water again stir it continuously and you are watching the changes in the texture it is super glossy, super shiny and it has started leaving the size of the pan. The ghee will lose out at the sides in no time. You can see it has changed. So here the only tip is patient because you have to roast it at very low flame. Now you can see, you can have a close look of this. The ghee is oozing out. It has left all the sides of the pan and the spatula is clean. It means our kada prashad is ready. So guys, if you make kada prashad like this, you will never fail. So let us transfer this to a flat plate as this is distributed in Gurudwaras. So this is Kada Prashad ready. Please try this and if you have not yet subscribed our channel, please subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching the video.